Yo what's up guys, this video I'm going to show the best settings that you can use in CS2 and Windows settings to boost your FPS and lower your input lag. I created a video like that a couple of weeks ago, but in this one we are going to go more in depth on how you can make your game run smoother, now enjoy the video. First we are going to start with some Windows settings that you should try in order to boost your game's performance. First, go to game mode and make sure it's on. What game mode does is Windows will not try to download or install updates in the background and apps that use the Windows notification system won't interrupt your game which is pretty good and can have a positive impact on your game. Second thing we can do is make CS2 in high performance, go to the system, then to display and after that to graphics. From here we should add CS2 to the list, I'm going to show you where your CS2.exe file should be. Find your Steam folder which in most cases is it in program files hix86, then to steam apps, common, counter strike go offensive, game, pin, win64 and then we will find the cs2.exe file that we are looking for. After we added it, click on it and then go to high performance. Running your PC in high performance mode will not harm it, your CPU will not be running at full speed constantly, it will still perform as intended. This just allows your computer to be used to its max capacity whenever in CS2 when it's needed. After we are done with that, we can go to the task manager, go down to background processes and you can close any programs that you are not using. Simply by right clicking and pressing end task, I recommend to do that if you have a lot of background tabs that are working. Now for the last thing you can do before opening the game is going to Steam, then go to CS2, on the left you can see CS2, then right click and go to properties. Now go to launch options and I'll give you some commands that can help you boost your FPS. First one we can add is D3D9X, this command unloads the processor at 40% while using the direct 3 d 9 x technology. The second thing we can add is Novit, this command disables the introduction video. After that type no browser, it switches off the in-game browser and the last one we can add is mat underscore q underscore mod 2. The command turns on multi-core processing and drastically improving the game. If you had hard time typing these commands, I will leave them in the description for you. Now moving to the in-game settings. Now let's go to settings and then to video. On main background, pick whatever map you want, cover mode, computer monitor, Brightness is personal preference, aspect ratio and resolution are again personal preference but most of the people play on one of these three aspect ratios and resolutions, 16 to 9 on 1920 by 1080, 16 to 10 on 1680 by 1050 and 4 to 3 on 1280 by 960 if you are unsure on which one to play stick with native 16 to 9 for now. However, setting it to something like 16 to 10 on 1680 by 1050 will improve your FPS as the game is now rendering at a lower resolution than the default 1920 by 1080. Display mode, make sure it's on full screen, refresh rate, highest possible setting. And now the advanced video settings. Boost player contrast, this makes player models stand out a little more, so I recommend turning this on. Wait for vertical sync, this setting can make your game lag a little bit, so make sure to turn it off. Multi sampling analyzing mode, changing this setting don't have much effect on your performance but the best one for me is CMAA2. Global shadow quality, make sure this setting is on high as it can help you in some situations and the effect on your FPS is almost none. Model and texture detail, medium, set this to medium because at low, things such as blood splatters can sometimes get blurry. If you want to see your skins better and more detailed, you might want to set it to high or very high since anything lower can cause the skins to get more blurry. Texture filtering mode, anisotrophic 4x, this one feels the best for me. I tried billionaire and trillionaire but sometimes I feel like it's lagging, so go with anisotrophic 4x. Shader detail, this one is more of a personal preference, if you want your skins to have this light effect when you inspect them, make sure it's all high, but if you are going for performance, make sure to set it to low. Particle detail, low, I don't see much difference with the high and low one, so I'll go with low. Ambient occlusion, enabling can cause lagging, so I recommend disabling it. High dynamic range, make sure it's on performance, as I don't see the big difference with other settings. Fidelity FX Super Resolution, make sure it's on disabled on highest quality. Nvidia Reflex Low Latency, go for enabled or enabled plus boost. What this setting does, it's making the game more responsive and it's reducing the latency. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this and see you in the next video.